Northwest Lost Sales. Good afternoon everyone, my name is Jack and I'm with Northwest Bus Sales. Today I'm going to be showing you a 2012 Ford Champion Challenger. Now this is a, a 12 passenger and two wheelchair bus which makes it non-CDL in every state except for the state of California. I'm excited to show it to you, let's check it out. Uh, I got Wyatt behind the camera, it's his birthday today so I want to give a little birthday shout out to my cameraman Wyatt. Finally 21. All right, uh, powered by the 6.8 liter V10 gasoline engine, Ford Triton series. Well, it's gonna give you a nice pan of that. Uh, you'll notice on the front here, we have a Sportsworks uh, two position bike rack. This is the stainless steel one, which actually is a little more spendy than the normal black. Uh, simple handle, push rack and squeeze handle to lower. Goes down and you can you know, put the bikes in there, put the hooks in, all that good stuff. All right, uh, Wyatt's gonna show you the front passenger side tire. These are backcountry touring tires. I'm gonna give you a nice little shot underneath. <clears throat> all right, so uh, coming on inside, I do wanna point out this does have a wider entry door. Uh, than your than your standard shuttle bus. Uh, basically, if you want to load stuff in or you know just kind of keep traffic moving, it's always a nice nice little option to have. Uh, we do have a very large grab rail on this side and grab handle on this side to let you in. And uh, we're gonna go over the driver area here first. Uh. All right, so the uh, bus does have cruise control, believe it or not, they do not all come standard with that, so good to know for those long nights on the highway. Uh, why if you can show them the mileage there, 174,000 miles, 174,381. Uh, over here to the right, we do have an aftermarket Kenwood AM FM CD stereo, also does have an aux input if you wanna plug in your phone to it as well. Uh, we have your normal climate controls here. This is just like you'd see in your car for the driver. You have your AC and everything. This does nothing. They actually put the heat switch down here. So that's high, off, and low, just like that. And then uh, rear AC is over here. This is your temperature switch and then your fan speed, just like that. Uh, dome light switch, open and close the door. And then it does have powered mirrors and heated mirrors. So good to know. One cup here to put your big gulp there if you need to. And uh, Wyatt's going to show you the driver's seat upholstery. It does have a little bit of uh, some rubbing going on right there. I don't really know. Don't know if it, I just call it cracking, I guess. It is cracking a little bit right there. Uh, the driver's seat upholstery does match the rear. We also have a hole back here. Not sure what that's from, but there is a little hole back there. All right, so this is a 12 passenger and two wheelchair shuttle bus which uh, as I said before means it is non-CDL in every state except for the state of California. Um, this is, uh, has 12 ambulatory passengers and room for two wheelchairs. Uh, the seat covers are a, are a nice vinyl. I don't know what level this is. I actually haven't seen the seat cover before. But it is an, a nice vinyl, easy to clean, especially during these times. Easy to wipe down, people spill stuff. Very simple. Uh, I do want to point out it does have cove flooring on it. Well, I didn't show them this. You'll see that the flooring does cove all the way up. That does minimize seams as well. If someone spills a drink or if there's any water in here, uh, there's just basically less spots for the for the floor to leak. So that's also a nice option. Uh, up top here, we do have two ceiling grab rails for people to hold on to if needed. Uh, and the transition panels here, we have dome lights. On uh, We have four on the driver's side and two on the passenger side there also with four speakers four, yeah four speakers two on each side uh up top here ceiling mounted uh, ac evaporator um just by the looks of it i'm gonna say 45 55 000 btus around there just just fine for up for up here um in the in the puget sound area uh back here emergency exit window hopefully you never have to use it but good to know it's there and uh, in here we do have uh, Q-Strength uh, storage bags. Believe it or not, also not standard. So it is nice to have those instead of them just floating around or in some boxes. So they do have some nice bags mounted to the back wall. All right, uh, a few things I do want to point out, just uh, point out a lot of the good. Here's some of the, you know, just stuff we need to look at. 
Uh, Champion does have this kind of wallpaper design here and you'll see that some of its ribbing on the sides it's not like peeling or anything like that but you'll see just you know with age and everything starts to get those ribs on it and it's not everywhere but you know you can see it up here it's just something I do want to point out so you guys know it's not a big deal it's just cosmetic but just want y'all to know okay that'll pretty much do it for the inside oh didn't show the uh, electrical panel here wide if you can show them that um, there's your uh, fuses and relays inside there. It also has a, a little chart there of what each one does. Your mechanics will love that. It's super easy to get to and does have troubleshooting LEDs. So if something goes out, you don't have to get a test light and test each one. The LED pops on which one isn't there. So mechanics, love that, easy to service. All right, let's uh, check out the outside. All right, so uh, coming on the outside here, uh, side skirts look great. There's no big dents or anything going along there uh, and here we do have a uh, slide out battery box and tray pull that up and it slides out just like that makes it really easy to get to there was also a battery underneath the hood as well so this is just an extra one uh, why it's going to show you the rear passenger side duels and give you a nice pan of the undercarriage as well. All right, so uh, coming on up here, we do have a bronze Century Series. This is a Century Series 2 wheelchair lift, and this is a 800-pound uh, capacity wheelchair lift, one of the most popular lifts you're gonna see out there. Very easy to use if you wanna uh, unfold. You're just gonna hold the unfold button. It's gonna go down. And if you wanna go down, you just hold the down button. And if any of your drivers get confused, there are also operating instructions sticker on there. And, uh, or there's also videos online, everything else. Uh, so yeah, you can load your wheelchair passenger up, then you just hold up. And then hold fold. People at Braun make it very simple, four buttons. Can't, can't get too confused. Right. Dual wheelchair doors with windows. So if there's a wheelchair passenger, they can kind of you know get a little bit of some light there as well. Uh, coming around the back, just your normal champion back here. We do got LED lights. Um, why well, didn't show them this? Looks like we got a little bit of some touch up paint. They're probably removing some decals. So you can see these little white spots there. Again, it's just cosmetic, but nothing too crazy. Uh, it does have a, a Romeo rim rear impact absorbing bumper. This is nice. If you get into a little, you know, uh, fender bender, you know, this definitely kind of absorb, absor absorbs the impact and makes it not as big of a deal for both vehicles involved. Also an anti-ride bumper. Uh, people try to sit on the back of the bumper and get a free ride. Well, that got a nice slant. Their butts ain't going to stay on it. So kind of a cool option. Uh, these corners tend to be where uh, people see the most damage uh, we have little, little tiny stuff here why if you can show them these little tiny little gashes and nicks nothing I wouldn't expect from a bus of this vintage it's just stuff I want to point out more little touch-up paint down there as you can see all right uh, windows on the side tints in, tints in great shapes not all peeling off or anything you do have the upper T sliders up top if people want to get fresh air while they're uh, well, they're riding also with uh, the whole COVID-19 thing going on. A lot of people are requiring this fresh air to be circulating throughout. So that's good to know. Uh, Wyatt's going to show you the rear driver side duels here. All right, uh, coming on into the driver area, it does have a uh, extruded driver side running board. This basically just allows for an extra step coming on into the bus if your driver needs it. Uh, sometimes that, uh, that step can be a little tall, especially for uh, elderly drivers. Um, so it does just allow for an extra step coming on in, kind of reduces some of that height there. Uh, Wyatt's gonna show you the front driver side tire here. And you can also see the stainless steel wheel covers on every wheel. Those are just something we add in all of our shuttle buses. It's a cheap option and uh, it really makes the bus pop.
Well, thank you for watching this Northwest Bus Sales exclusive video tour. If you like this bus or any other buses in our lot, you can call us at 1-800-231-7099. Visit us at nwbus.com or email us sales at nwbus.com. Thank you very much for watching. Yeah.